Hello and welcome to the second video in a series of videos about how to make and use paper in Corel Painter 2016. Before we actually get to the part of making and using paper, let's explore the two paper panels. You can find the panels by going to Window and down the list, whoops, down the list to paper panels and coming over here and clicking on panels. Or you can use the keyboard shortcuts for a PC, Control plus 9, and for a Mac it would be Command plus 9. When you click on papers, the um, paper control panel will open and it's nested in the paper palette with the paper libraries panel. Now let's look at the Paper Libraries panel first. And before we actually look at the parts, let's notice that you can change the size of the uh, paper palette by grabbing the corner and moving it out or down or up. You can also just grab these three dots and go up and down or grab either side and pull it out to the right and left. So you can change the shape of your paper palette to fit your needs on your screen. Now let's go back to the paper libraries panel and we'll look down here at this series of icons. The first one is new paper library and if you click that it will start the process in making a new paper library. If you click here, you're going to import a paper library and that's the way to bring libraries into Painter. And here you would export a paper library, and, and I would suggest that you export all of your paper libraries to save them outside of Painter in case you lose them for whatever reason. The next is Restore Default Paper Library. What that does is if you click it, it will ask you to select one of the uh, default paper libraries, and if you select it, it will revert it back to the factory default. So any changes that you may have made to the library will be uh, reverted back to the default. Here you have Capture Paper. Now that's actually a command for the Papers uh, panel, the Paper Command panel, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Here is Make Paper, and that also is a command for uh, Paper's uh, command panel. And this is Show uh, Paper Control. You can find more commands under the Option button, but also you'll find some of the same commands under the Option button. For instance, we have New Paper Library, Import Paper Library, and Export Paper Library, which were available down uh, below in these icons. But you have new things. You have Paper Control Panel, which when that is clicked, the Paper Control Panel is open. If it's unclicked, it's not showing. Right now, ours is checked, and so there's the Paper Control Library showing. The next is the Paper Library View. We have the option of changing the icons from small to medium to large or changing it to list. So if I click on large, my little icons for the paper, would be larger. I'll go back to medium. And if I come down here, I can rename the current paper that is selected. I can set a custom icon or I can show all hidden icons. Now what that means is if I right click on a paper, I can hide it. Uh, so when I click on, on the hide, it actually hid that paper. If I right click again and I click on rename paper, I can select that and change the name of the paper. If I click here, I would actually delete the currently active paper. If I click here, I can change the picture that is being used for that paper. Okay. Now, if I want to bring that paper back that I hid, I would click on Show All Hidden Items, and that would bring back the paper that uh, I had hidden. Okay, so then if we come down to Paper Libraries, any library that I have added to Painter, and I have quite a few of them, 
are listed here. If there's a check by them, that means they will be showing inside of Painter. Um, we have, we can remove a paper library. That means actually delete the whole library from Painter. We can import a legacy paper library. That is, if it's an older library that uh, was made with an earlier version of Painter, we can import it by using the import legacy paper library. And again, we can restore the default paper library, uh, which was an option down here at the bottom. One last icon that I didn't mention is the delete paper, and you can delete the active uh, paper by using the little trash can. Okay, that's all that we need to know about the paper library panel. In the next video, we'll look at the paper command panel. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.